Good afternoon, my name is Rochelle Deloria. Today I'll be presenting my work on the perspectives of Filipinx students. I'll be using the term Filipinx instead of Filipina or Filipino today to understand the identity of the community that expands past the gender binary. The overview of my presentation is as follows. I personally identify as a Filipinx Canadian researcher. I had the opportunity to become formally acquainted with research as well as my ethnocultural heritage in university. Through my encounters with formal research opportunities, I understood that there was a lack of representation for Filipinx Canadians in higher education and formal research. Although Filipinx Canadians are the fourth largest visible minority in Canada, and we continue to be the largest source of immigrants today, our settlement procedures and our integration patterns are relatively overlooked. One measurement of integration is educational attainment. It has been noted that Filipinx Canadians disproportionately experience a lower educational trajectory in comparison to other immigrant populations. We have higher high school dropout rates, lower GPAs, and lower post-secondary completions. Formal research opportunities have been recognized to provide time management skills, communication skills, as well as organizational skills for many students. However, they're commonly provided by post-secondary institutions due to the availability of funding, mentorship, and exposure to research environments. The unique experiences for Filipino Canadians may lead to a different engagement with knowledge production. Technology and governance is one specific field that's acquainted with understanding and recruiting more diverse populations towards their perspectives on the implications of technology in society today. The perspectives of Filipino Canadians may be beneficial in understanding how technology such as artificial intelligence and neurotechnology may uniquely impact the community. Our objectives were to understand the views of Filipino post-secondary students on being knowledge producers, as well as they thought about performing research in general or on science te technology and their ethical, legal, or social implications. We also wanted to investigate if Filipino post-secondary students critically consider the roles in society as students and as potential researchers and members of the workforce. Our work is anchored in the perception of Filipino students on their expected roles in society, the deemed set abilities important for upholding these roles, and their potential to become knowledge producers. We split the survey into three different sections reflecting the main objectives of our study including their perspectives of Filipino Canadians, their engagement with knowledge production, and their engagement with technology. We use a concurrent mixed methods approach, combining quantitative and qualitative aspects to get a holistic view of participants' responses. We disseminated the survey to Alberta post-secondary schools, and we received 28 responses with 12 completions. We found that individuals engaged with their roles as post-secondary students to learn and understand how to improve society, obtain skills for their jobs, as well as provide for their family and self. Participant engaged with knowledge in three different ways, as knowledge producers, knowledge users, or knowledge disseminators. A majority of participants shied away from formal knowledge production, given the fact that they understood that they didn't have appropriate background knowledge or expertise to conduct formal research. And some educators engage with the idea of knowledge production in the way of becoming knowledge facilitators or knowledge disseminators for the future students. Participants indicated barriers included the fact that they didn't have appropriate role models or experience or exposure to research growing up. Some implications of our work are to continue to contribute towards the understanding of the Philippine X Canadian diaspora, as well as communicating with local Philippine X organizations to understand their research aspirations and how research can better support grassroots movements and organizations, as well as inform interventions suited and targeted towards Philippine X Canadian youth. I'll be ending our presentation with this quote from a participant today, indicating that many have said that my curiosity will get me places, and perhaps research opportunities are the way to go, but this takes time. A person must be able to understand things and understand that they don't know everything in order to be a researcher. This could take years or just a few months, and either way, everyone is meant to be a researcher and question things they witness every day. Thank you.